5 seconds to go start where the evidences of wife and employees of wife are truthful then such evidence cannot be discarded on ground that both are interested witness somewhere in july 1999 azam ghodi who died during the trial organized a tanjim along with his associates accused a1 to a8 has a conspiracy to snatch away the cash bag from one ramakrishna rao the owner of a cycle shop called krishna cycle stores new bus stand bodhan in pursuance of the said conspiracy on 2nd august 1999 accused choked out plan at sarbati canal mosque bodhan that a1 should snatch the bag of the deceased and a2 firoz khan should drive the vehicle to escape from the scene after commission of the offence and remaining of them that is a3 to a9 should watch the movements by taking shelter near the shop and house of the deceased for successful implementation of their plan a6 mohammad abdul mateen alias muzaffar had provided his motorcycle while a9 gave his pistol to a1 for the purposes of committing the crime it was decided that in the event ramakrishna rao showed any resistance and did not hand over the bag containing cash they will shoot him and run away from the place of occurrence ramakrishna rao was in in his cycle shop called krishna cycle stores and also had second show collections of the theater in the evening he used to come back to his place with cash on the night of 2nd august 1999 a lorry loaded with spare parts of hero cycle came to the shop of the deceased and the goods were unloaded into the shop by 10:30 pm the deceased had second show collection from the theater which is estimated to be of rupees 40000 after closing the shop he was proceeding to his house which was about 500 to 600 feet away and his salesman was accompanying him one nazar and hamid were following him and all of them were going on foot when they were about to reach the house of the deceased that the accused intercepted and demanded the deceased to hand over the bag as already noticed there were resistance and arguments resultantly the accused had fired three shots from his pistol snatched the bag and ran away when the deceased fell down pw1 one prasad pw2 the wife of the deceased and his elder daughter took the deceased to the government hospital bodhan in an auto and as no doctor available at the hospital they took the deceased to santhan nursing home where he was declared dead by the doctors thereafter pw1 went to the police station at about 11:50 pm and gave complaint to the sub inspector of police station the inspector was examined as pw23 and a complaint submitted was exhibit p1 on this basis an fir was registered under section 302 and 379 read with 34 ipc and sections 25 and 27 of indian arms act being exhibit p35 it may be noticed here that as per the evidence on record the wife and daughter of the deceased were sitting on the first floor of the house and they came to have seen the deceased pw1 coming to the house as well as his altercation with the accused they had come down with the key to open the door for the deceased to enter the house however when they opened the door the firing had taken place and the deceased was lying on the ground the investigating officer was examined as pw18 who took up the investigation examined the witnesses 
and recorded the statement after preparing the sketch of the case of occurrence exhibit P11 and scene of offence panchanama exhibit P10. They were prepared in presence of PW9. The body of the deceased was sent for post-mortem. PW14 Dr. B. Santos conducted the autopsy over the dead body of the deceased and issued post-mortem report certificate expressing the opinion as Exhibit P15. The cause of death was identified to be internal hemorrhage and shock caused by a firearm injuries. The accused persons were found guilty and awarded sentence by Sessions Court. The judgment of Sessions Court was partially set aside by the High Court. Dissatisfied by the judgment of High Court, the appeal was filed by two appellants in Supreme Court. The Supreme Court held that the prosecution had been able to prove its case beyond reasonable doubt. The gravity of offence, the manner in which it had been committed and the conduct of the accused did not call for any interference even on the question of quantum of sentence. Stop.